Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol SWN. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30-minute time slices. I like you this time. Frampton has a good job of telling the quote-unquote story of the price and then just makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to say it the obvious, but I will anyways. Very nice movement today. Not only that, you look down here at the volume and well above average volume, including the final 30 minutes of the day, uh, which had the biggest volume all day long. So very powerful close there. So a lot of eyeballs on this one going forward. So let's map out some areas of support and then we can talk levels of resistance. So first level of support is what I would call the ideal level. And we say, hey, Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute best going forward? And that would be if the price can stay up above $1.74. Now, don't get me wrong. If the price falls below $1.74, I'm not saying the entire chart is destroyed or ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price could manage to stay up above that level, that would definitely be a massive sign of power going forward. Taking a step back and looking at all this from the bigger picture point of view, that is where the purple line there comes into play, the 50 period, simple moving average. Keyword being moving. So as time goes by, that line is going to move itself higher and higher. So a very straightforward way to gauge the health of the move, that right there being defined as the move. Just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. However you can best visualize that, that is what is being represented. Again, yeah, staying above $1.74 would be great, but from the grand scheme of it all, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. What about levels of resistance going forward? First key level of resistance, gonna be right here at the $1.79 mark, which makes pretty good sense when you just consider that not that long ago, that was also right where the price got rejected from. So not shocking to see that. So very clearly there's some sellers sitting up around that level, not saying it can't be broken, just saying that apparently the price is really gonna need to bring its A game if it's gonna be able to fight up through that level. If the price can push up through $1.79, next key level of resistance after that, right up there at $1.83. So all in all though, anyway, look at it. Very nice movement, not necessarily just today, but even when you look at Tuesday. So now it's just a question of can the price continue to chip away and build those higher bases? Let's see what happens, but definitely a very solid movement today. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I've discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too, good, way too good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.